praise God, praise God. Pastor Teddy Marshall of Word Fellowship Ministries here. And I'm going to be brief because it's a little misty out here. <laughs> Anywho, so there's a particular song that was sung during praise and worship at church a little while ago. And it was, you know, the worshiping God and it was calling out, you know, acknowledging all of the different things that he's done. And it was talking about how the Lord has changed our lives and how he's healed, how he's delivered, how he's saved, how he protects. And all of these things are mentioned in this song. And then it says this line in there that says, I can't believe that you love me. So I was okay. I was going along with the Lord. I just thank you. I praise you, God. Thank you for my family. Thank you for how you've saved and delivered. Thank you how you brought us together. Thank you how you healed us. Thank you, Lord God, how you protect us. Thank you, Father God, how you provided. Truly, truly, not just a cliche saying, but Lord God, thank you for, for making a way out of no way. Because it sure, on several occasions, seemed like there was no way out, no way up, no way to be for it to be done. All of this. And then that line came. I can't believe. So basically they were saying, um, Lord God, you, you've done all of this and it's because you're faithful, because you love me. I can't believe that you love me. And then I'm thinking, I did kind of like a little Scooby-Doo, like, wait a minute, because I was really getting into it. Y'all know I'm a praise and worshiper. <laughs> but when it came to that part, it was like, it gave me pause because let's, let, let's do the word right here. Um, Mark eleven twenty three, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. For surely I say to you, whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. So it made me think about if I have whatever I say, and a lot of times, you know how we're in the word of God or we're just starting out in our life in God and we're thinking like, oh, you know, like, um, I know God loves me, but I'm not feeling it. I'm trying to have, you know, trying to get a grasp on this and everything about, you know, God loving me. But if we're singing a song that says, I can't believe that you love me and we have whatever we say, maybe that's why we can't believe. Maybe that's why it's so hard to believe that he's going to come through in those difficult times. Maybe, yeah, 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 you know, the good times and we're praising him and we're worshiping him and we know what he's done and he's got a whole little dossier of all of the things, our testimonies manifest and everything. And then something crucial comes along and then we're like, then worry tries to creep in and fretting and anxiety and we're all anxious about stuff. And yes, the word tells us be anxious for nothing. Yes, God loves us. He, he, he loved us in our mother's womb, knew our name, our hair on our head, and all of this stuff. And yeah, okay, fine. But then that crucial point comes, and it's like, um, um, <laughs> could it be that it's because of what we're singing as well as what we're saying? So, what gave me this morning as I was, you know, getting dressed, and this is not something new that's been on my heart. There's another song that talks about, um, attributes some things that should only be for the enemy, but they're attributing it to God, calling him a robber, grave robber. Um, I was trying to do what I was saying with the song is, but I, there you go. Um, and he stole me, you know, and, and from the grave and all of that stuff. Yeah. He saved us from having to go from the grave. Yes, the word says he comes like a thief, like a thief in the night, not being a thief. So I have a, it. So basically, what I'm saying, <laughs> we know with um, secular songs, we know with the juking and jiving songs and the twerking songs, and we know all of that. You know those. Um, uh, uh, entertainers that are out there in the world and they're promoting these different things the sex and the drugs and the violence and all that stuff so as a born again Christian we know to stay away from those but some of it is the Christian songs that we have to look out for I'm not attributing anything any characteristic of the devil I'm not putting it on my Jesus I'm not attributing any kind of activity or anything grave robbing and stuff like that that's the enemy is the one who robs steals kills and destroys He's the one who does that. God saved me. God saved you. He came for you to take you out of the hand of the enemy and the jurisdiction of the devil. He took you out of that by saving you, not 
stealing you, not robbing. Our challenges may be in some of the Christian songs. There's some other ones and I'm not going to go into it. And I, you know, I, I get what they're trying to say in some of these songs. I understand it, but we have to be cunning, wise, aware, not fearful. No, we're not doing that because that's for the enemy too. And that's what he wants us to do. But just be mindful of what you're singing. And see, here's the thing is the word, the, the particular verse talks about what you say having what you say so we need to be saying what we want more of or what we want um what god has revealed to us is supposed to be that's what we should be saying but here's the thing whether you're singing it or whether you're saying it you're speaking it so let our hearts be encouraged in our worship unto the lord true worship not attributing any kind of anything and the beat could be cute and it could be you know like a heightened you know kind of thing but it's from the soul that's not that that's not really worshiping god from our spirit man we need to worship and praise god from our spirit man we need to call out on the things that we know of him that the word tells us the word tells us of him so there you go I'm not just some church or church lady ranting and raving. I'm just wanting you be um, mindful of what you're saying and what you're singing. Praise God. Father God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We give you all the honor and glory, Father God. We thank you for the Christian artists and the gospel artists who are actually singing praises unto you and are aware and mindful of the lyrics of their songs so that it can truly be as we're singing it incense unto you lord god we thank you for that father we pray right now in the name of jesus that you will um cause all of your artists and your creative ones and it could be writing in a book writing a book it could be uh um producing a movie writing a script or or any of those things anything creative drawing painting sculpting lord god and if we're doing it your children and we're we should be flowing in the creativity, the, the creative anointing of you as we're in your image and in your likeness. We want to be sure that it is all you, God, that you get the credit. I had a painting that, um, a picture of, um, and it had scripture on it. And it was really, really nice. And the person, the artist signed it at the bottom. But it was something like, it just didn't sit right with me. And I've had it for a while, but it kept jumping out at me like something, something's off. And I'm thinking, nah, it can't be this because it's got scripture on it. Okay, fine. But it's still, if I would pass it, every now and then I pass it. I'm like, mm, something here. So during our, um, power prayer time yesterday and, and fellowship and I mentioned to one of my ministers and I said let me run this by you see sometimes we don't have to get counsel from something else because in my head I'm thinking it's got the word of God on it. it is yeah it's fine so we paused for a minute and my Holy Spirit spoke through her and said that it was the artist was trying to take credit for the word of God so, so and I went on the website it was really pretty much you know like this is what I've done this is what I created this is what I so it wasn't in honor of God it was in honor of his own talent his own doing and that's why it didn't sit right with me so I asked the Lord what he wanted me to do with it and I did what he said to do with it <laughs> so father back to the prayer father God in all of our creating, it could even be a recipe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In all of our creating, Lord God, we want to make sure that it's unto you. Worship unto you. Acknowledging you. Giving you the glory. And anything that has been activated as a result of this singing a song or speaking a word that wasn't all the way, <laughs> didn't align fully with you, Lord God, I deactivate it now with the blood of Jesus. And in Jesus' name, we are free to worship, we are free to represent, we are free to glorify our God in every single way. In Jesus' name, amen.